Hi, this is Jennifer Laporte. Hello, Jennifer Laporte. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Good. Thanks for calling me. I know typical in your line of work probably isn't the same as most, but what's a typical day for you? What do you normally do on a Wednesday? Um, I'm actually in between classes right now because I um, am studying acting at a conservatory here in New York. So I'm a full-time student right now doing that, um, and I have a year and a half left of that training. But um, So it's perfect timing to call you during this. But, I, yeah, I, every day I go to my studio, and I um, – I'm doing scene work, and I'm doing voice work and movement work, and it's a blast, and I love it. Oh, I bet it is. It sounds like a great time. And it's the end result for yeah. you after all this. Um, if you could if you could pin it out however you wanted, would this, would this incorporate more on screen or more live theater? I love both, and I started out doing theater mostly, but um, I have a deep love for film, and I see myself doing more of that. Um, out of my training, but I would hope to always be able to do both and to find some balance, but um, I'm really interested in the medium of film and what it can do, um, especially something like Klinger with um, such interesting genres. Um, I just love film because it can do that. This is your first, was your first full-length uh, film, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Why this one? <laughs> it... Um, it came to me, or I first read the script, I was a senior in high school, and um, I read the script, and I had known um, of the filmmakers, because we grew up in the same town, and when I read the script, I just thought it was so clever, and just so funny, and I, I really, really wanted to be a part of it, and um, I had never done a feature before, so I, I was, I, I thought it would be such a fun thing, and such a fun experience, especially since it was also the filmmaker's first feature, too. So it was um, quite a fun learning opportunity for all of us and um, just really special because of that. I'm in Dallas, so we have a huge indie mm -hmm. film world here. Uh, and I love the camaraderie yeah. where it isn't like, well, you're the director, I'm the actor or actress. And everybody kind of chips in and wears different hats. If somebody needs to put up a light rigging, they do. And if somebody needs to go grab mm -hmm. food for everybody, they do. Was was that kind of the feel on the set of this? Did you guys all just kind of chip in and do what needed to be done, which added to that fun family element of of the set? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and there was there was a lot of collaboration with it, and of course, I mean, the roles, uh, the crew crew was amazing, and they all knew much more about what they were doing than than <laughs> than I did. So I. I didn't help out with much of the crew stuff, but um, they were all, I mean, we were all focused and we came to set every day and we, we knew what we had to do. And I mean, we had some days where we were, we were really pushing time and it was like, oh, we have to get this shot before the sun comes out um, with some of those night shoots. And we all, I mean, we got it together and we did what we had to do. And it was like a big family because um, we shot in Houston over um, a period of about a month, and um, we were all just in close proximity, and we're, we were all hanging out with each other on days that we weren't shooting um, or after a day had wrapped, so it felt like a big family. We were just hanging out with each other constantly, which was really fun. Now, did you know, you mentioned you knew some of the filmmakers. Did you know Vincent, um, who plays, obviously, your, the, the clinger <laughs> of, the, of the film? Mm -hmm. did, did, you guys, did you guys know each other before this, or did you meet on set? Because there was this really great camaraderie between you, almost like some things you guys did were, were a little tongue-in-cheek, like the rest of us weren't really in on the entire joke. <laughs> was that something yeah. that you, you guys I, had known? No, I did not know him before, um, and I... I didn't know who would be playing that part until like a week before we started shooting. Um, and then I met him the first day on set and um, he was so cool. Yeah. Right off the bat, we hit it off and he was, um, he was just so fun to work with because he's, he's so great at comedy. And so, I mean, there'd be scenes we were doing where you'd be improvising a little bit at the end and it would just be really hard for me to not break because he's just, He's just such a funny person naturally, so um, it was a blast working with him, yeah. And he really kept the energy up, too, on set when we had some really long um, night shoots where we were all kind of going crazy and loopy, and um, it was fun to work on him with that. 
And, and you talked about some of the, the improv. Do you personally, I know this was your first role, but as you got into some of the different scenes, do you like to be directed a lot, or do you like the flexibility of, of fleshing out your character and, and finding new nuances to do that? And were you given that, that sort of a freedom? Yeah. Um, Michael is awesome because, I mean, the film the filmmakers were also the writers, so they knew the story, and they they had, of course, their visions of what the arc of the characters um, needed to be. And um, Michael, our director, was really open to collaboration, and we were always we would always talk through a scene and talk through kind of the state of the character's relationship um, because it is it's kind of a it goes back and forth between these two characters um, throughout the whole film, whether they are they love each other or they hate each other, and um, so it was. He was very open to collaboration, and I enjoyed that. And he and um, I did. Yeah, I found he he definitely gave us lead to find a lot of freedom as well, and to have our own ideas with it, which I really appreciated. Yeah, now the horror genre, especially in, in the comedy horror genre like this, is. I mean, there, there's so much there's so much fun in this and poking fun at things. The the fan base for these sort of movies has to be one of the most dedicated out there. Uh, were you a, a fan of this genre? Do you kind of lean toward these? Uh, or, or is horror just kind of like to- totally out of your box of what you would prefer to watch or see? Not that that's a bad, not that that's a bad thing either way. Oh, yeah, no. I, this was my first experience really diving into the horror genre. I always, I enjoyed, um, I enjoy the horror genre um, more as I got a little bit older because my, my parents, when I was younger, of course, were very protective of letting me watch, you know, the Saw and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and that kind of thing. But um, good for I them. <laughs> such a fun, yeah, it's such a fun genre, and it's um, it's it's a kind of genre where you can get very creative, and um, and with Klinger having the comedy elements mixed in, it just made it really goofy and. Um, just attracted me to want to work on it um and i and yeah the 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 fan base for horror movies is incredible um and they're very dedicated fans and um i i hope that clinger will be the kind of movie that will be enjoyable and will be goofy and funny and really bloody and um quirky and fun yeah, I think so. I know we had a lot of fun watching it, and we liked what you did with Fern, mm-hmm. your character. And uh, thanks for, for spending some time with us today, and uh, I look forward to yeah. seeing you do, doing more stuff. So uh, so I, I know we're going to see your face thanks a lot. And, yeah, we're just privileged to have you on with us, and enjoy the rest of your classes. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day.